Now, last month, U.S. Airways Flight 1549 glided smoothly across the Hudson, resulting in the safe return of all aboard. In this piece, we head to Stevens Institute of Technology, where one professor helped play a role in that rescue effort, thanks to an in-depth knowledge of one of the area's most renowned waterways. On January 15th, what could have been a major national disaster was averted thanks to some quick thinking and the help of Mother Nature. The U.S. Airways Flight 1549 ditched in the Hudson River under unusually calm conditions and a virtually empty corridor. But in any other conditions... The plane could have flipped over and uh, burst into pieces. Perched on the hills of the Hudson that give a front row seat to the river is the Stevens Institute of Technology, where Dr. Alan Blumberg, a professor here, realized moments after the flight crash landed that his knowledge of the way water currents transport an object could aid rescue workers. When the plane went into the water, the first thing you want to know is which way is the water moving and how fast, so you know which way to deploy your, your rescue assets. And what we did with our information is to tell emergency management personnel to go downstream to head downstream towards the battery, not upstream towards the George Washington Bridge because the currents were fast and flowing to the south. Dr. Blumberg uses more than 200 monitors that are placed around Manhattan, Long Island and the Jersey Shore. Nicholas Georges is a senior research engineer at Stevens and explains what exactly these sensors track. It's called a CDD, it's a conductivity temperature depth uh, instrument. So. It uh, measures uh, how much salt content you have in the water, how much, what's the water temperature, and also uh, what's the depth of the water. When that plane went in the water, we were right away able to figure out which way the water was moving, uh, the temperature of the water, the wave conditions, not only what was happening then, but what was likely to happen for the next 6 to 12 hours. And because currents are slower at the bottom of a river than on the top, Dr. Blumberg offered advice in the hunt for flight 1549's missing engine that was found 60 feet beneath the Hudson's surface, almost directly under the spot where the plane first hit the water. But for now, Dr. Bloomberg and Georges are thankful that a potential tragedy was avoided and they were able to provide some useful information to rescue workers. And for more information on the current, you could go to their website at www.stevens.edu backslash maritime forecast.